talk about Magic Lantern for a bit. Um, Magic Lantern is a small uh, DSLR small interest group. Um, I wouldn't say so small, but um, they are a special interest group for Canon uh, DSLR uh, EOS cameras. Um, back in the spring of this year, 2013, um, they discovered uh, the ability to get a stream of raw images off the um, uh, off the sensor. Um, they hacked into it to get into the sensor. And so they, dis they discovered that they could uh, capture, uh, or I should say port or reroute the stream uh, back to, um, to CF card in a series of image sequences. Um, raw, 14-bit raw. Um, yeah, and so it's made, it's made so many um, uh, advancements in the last little while that it's been truly, truly amazing. Uh, it, so what that's done is given people like me um, who are on, uh, don't have access to these high-end gear, our, our budgets don't allow for that, uh, they just put us right in the league with the uh, cameras like Red One and other cameras that shoot raw. Um, some people may think it's not as good um, some people say it's fantastic. Um, it's another tool to use in your production. And if you already have a Canon EOS camera, why not use it? Uh, Magic Lantern is very safe. Um, even though it is a hack software, you, there again, um, use it at your own risk. Um, and, uh, you know, read your documentation, understand your camera, understand the software, and just don't go into it blindly. Fast forward, um, so now uh, I thought I would do some sensor tests, um, some maximum sensor tests on the 5D Mark II. Um, uh, it can do uh, 3.2 um, full sensor, um, even though it's line skipping, um, resolution, um, 1872. Hey, your sun's starting to come out. 1872 by 1250, uh, 3-2 ratio. And I, I uh, throw a grade on there. Uh, I've been using Film Convert Pro uh, of late. Uh, I've tried it a few times. And the 5D Mark II really, really likes being um, mapped to the Red One sensor, I find. Um, and it does a pretty good job. I use, um, I really like using the Fuji 8550, uh, 53 ET uh, film stock and some grain on there and it looks really good, really good. So in this uh, example, I shot earlier um, a couple days ago when the sun was out. Uh, I shot some um, shots in the backyard, some nice snowy shots um, and they're all in the full 3-2 sensor um, um, capture. Uh, they were, um, <clears throat> pardon me, they were um, 1872 by, by uh, 1250 and then I, uh, I show you a grade and then I go through the steps um, applying the grade. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Um, it uh, was kind of cool when I made it, so <laughs> cool as in temperature wise. Um, but uh, I think it looks good, um, and uh, here we go. Uh, 1872 by 1250 with Film Convert Pro uh, on uh, applied. This is the uh, Cinnamon DNG without 
anything applied, just the raw uh, cinnamon DNG. This is the grade being applied um, with Film Convert Pro. Red One Camera Source, uh, Fuji 8553ET. Now this is it being upscaled to 19%. Um, uh, not a bad job. Um, it does a real good job. Now this is a 5.3, sorry, this is a 5.332 ratio. Uh, I really like this one because it has the minimal uh, upscaling and as you see it upscales to only 7% HD so this is your best option if you can maintain the frame rate and these are just a uh, shot of my car uh, yeah buried in the snow my poor poor little car and I thought I'd, I'd include this shot because it was just a nice scenic shot. Uh, there again, full frame. 